Mettler Toledo's DMA offers all the main deformation modes required to characterize materials. These include three-point bending, single and dual cantilever, tension, compression, and shear mode. The drive shaft clamps must be changed when switching between different modes. Different drive shaft clamps are available for bending and shear or tension and compression modes. Next, we will show you how to switch between bending or shear drive shaft clamps and tension or compression drive shaft clamps. Precondition. To avoid damaging the drive motor, do not exert excessive force on the drive shaft. Always install the alignment insert when fastening or loosening the drive shaft clamp. Remove samples and turn the measuring head in a horizontal position when changing the drive shaft clamp. The distance between the drive shaft clamp and the support pillars must be 10 millimeters. If this is not the case, loosen the Allen screws on both support pillar pairs and position them accordingly before refastening the Allen screws on both clamps. Fit one set of clamp bars on each of the outer clamps and the drive shaft clamp. Slide the alignment insert along the support pillars in the corresponding six holes. The 10 mm shoulder must be inserted between the two clamps on the right. Fasten the alignment insert with four outer extended nuts, followed by two middle extended nuts using the torque wrench, which must be set to a torque of 25 centinewton meters. Loosen the securing screw on the side of the bending drive shaft clamp using the T10 Torx key. Detach the alignment insert by first removing the four outer extended nuts and then the two middle extended nuts using the torque wrench. This permits the alignment insert to slide off easily. Carefully remove the bending drive shaft clamp. Remove the clamp bars on the outer clamps. Loosen the securing screw on the temperature sensor with a 1.27 mm Allen key. Pull the temperature sensor sufficiently outwards to allow the fitting of the drive shaft onto the drive shaft part of the tension clamp. Carefully fit the tension clamp onto the drive shaft. Ensure the securing screw is facing towards the right, such that the clamping surface is facing upwards. Gently screw on the securing screw using the T10 Torx key to fix the clamp part, but do not tighten. Place the short and medium length spaces on the support pillars. Slide the fixed part of the tension clamp along the support pillars, inserting it through the corresponding four holes. The clamping surface of the tension clamp must be facing the same direction as the drive shaft part of the clamp. The holes in the clamping surface should be close to the far edge. Fasten the fixed part of the tension clamp by screwing on the four extended nuts using the torque wrench. When installing the alignment insert, position it such that the 10 mm shoulder is on the far end. Guide the temperature sensor through the hole in the alignment insert. Insert the 10 mm shoulder between the clamp parts. Reloosen the securing screw on the drive shaft parts of the clamp. Fasten the four torque screws using the T10 Torx key while pulling the alignment insert towards yourself.
Secure the drive shaft part of the tension clamp by fastening the securing screw. Take out the two torque screws on the drive shaft side of the alignment insert before removing the remaining two torque screws. Detach the alignment insert. The tension or compression drive shaft clamp is now installed. Details on sample preparation for tension and bending modes are provided in the DMA sample preparation video at www.mt.com forward slash TA dash videos. We have shown you how to change a bending or shear drive shaft clamp to a tension or compression drive shaft clamp. By following the reverse process, you can also change a tension and compression drive shaft clamp to a bending and shear drive shaft clamp. For more information on DMA, please watch our how to videos on YouTube here. You find videos on Dynamic Mechanical Analysis, DMA Sample Preparation, DMA One Standard Calibration and Adjustment, DMA Curve Interpretation Training Course. You can also view our online webinar on dynamic mechanical analysis at www.mt.com forward slash TA dash webinars.